Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create a dialed contact from Optin Monster Lead. So are you also using Optin Monster for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I'm doing the same and I wish that as soon as a new lead is received in my Optin Monster account, automatically a contact should be created in my Agile too. For this, we are going to create a connection between Optin Monster and Agile. To create this connection without doing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So if you also wish to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to our screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to create a new Agile contact with the help of an Optin Monster lead. So to do this, I've already opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we'll open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get a lot of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here. And now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to create agile contact from opt-in monster lead and then we are going to click on create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. By this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application which is Optin Monster because I want that as soon as a new lead is received in my Optin Monster account automatically my workflow should be triggered. And now for the trigger event we are going to select new lead lead and now it is giving me a webhook url so we are going to use this url in order to create a connection between our opt-in monster account and our pabli's workflow so first i'm going to copy this url and then we are going to open our opt-in monster account and as you can see that this is my account and i've already logged in it so it is always advised to log in your applications before starting with the automation it makes the procedure easy and this is the form that i've created so i'm going to open this form because i want to create this automation for this particular form and from here we are going to go on integrations and over here in the left sidebar you can see add new integration so we are going to click on this we are going to scroll and select webhook and over here it is asking me for the webhook so I'm going to click on add new webhook and then it is asking me for the webhook name and the webhook URL. So I'm going to name my webhook as agile contact and for the webhook URL we are going to paste the URL we copied from our workflow and then we are going to click on connect to webhook and yes you can see that we have successfully added our webhook right over here which is agile contact. So I'm going to open my workflow and over here you can see that we have also received the response of the successful connection between our opt-in monster account and our Pabli's workflow over here you can see webhook test but i wish to receive the response of the form submission so i'm going to click on recapture webhook response and then we are going to do a test submission so that i can receive the response of the form submission so i'm going to open my form from here we are going to go on yes sign me up and then we are going to enter the details as this name as demo user email as demo at the rate pablitudes.com and this is the phone number so now after entering all the details i'm going to click on subscribe and yes, you can see you're all signed up. So this means that we have successfully did our test submission and opt-in monster send the details of our submission to our workflow. So I'm going to open my workflow and yes, you can see that we have received the details of our submission. Over here, you can see the phone number that we entered. Over here, you can see the last name that we entered. Over here, you can see the first name, the email that we entered. So with this, our trigger step is successful and now we are moving on to our action step. For our action application, we are going to select it as Agile because I want that as soon as a new lead is received in my Optin Monster account, automatically a contact should be created in my Agile too. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as Create Contact and then we are going to click on Connect. 
and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your child account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api key so in the notes it is saying log into your account to get the api key and go to settings then api settings so i'm going to open my agile account and over here you can see that this is my account and now from the left side bar we have to go on settings and then from here we are going to go on api settings and yes you can see that this is my api key so i'm going to reset this key so that i can get the fresh key and then i'm going to copy this key and we are going to paste this key in our workflow and now after pasting this key in our workflow we are going to click on save and yes you can see that as soon as i clicked on save it is saying connected so this means that we have successfully connected our agile account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the details like first name last name email and phone number so we are going to map these details mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected opt in monster as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new lead receive so i'm going to give you an example that if for the first name i'm going to enter it as demo right over here manually it will not change with every new lead receive because this is a static information but if i'm going to map it from the previous response it will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping so i'm going to search for first name right over here and as you can see demo so we are going to map it we are going to do same for the last name i'm going to search for it and as you can see user so we are going to map it so we are going to move on forward for the email so i'm going to search for email right over here and as you can see demo at the rate pablitudes.com so we are going to map it and now we are going to move on forward for the phone number so we are going to search for phone and as you can see the phone number that we entered so we are going to map it again and as you can see that now it is asking me for some more details so we are going to leave these details details as blank because these are not the required details and now it is asking me for the role so i'm going to keep it as lead only you can select any another desired role and now after selecting and mapping all the required details i'm going to click on save and send as request and yes you can see that we have received the positive response that a new contact with the same details have been created in our agile too so to check this i'm going to open my account and from here we are going to go on crm and then contacts And yes you can see a new contact has been created right over here name demo user email demo at the rate pablitudes.com over here is the role which is lead so i'm going to open it we are going to look for the phone number that we entered and yes you can see that this is the same phone number too that we entered so with this our workflow is successful and i'll just test the workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so to do this i'm going to open my form and then we are going to refresh this page because we are going to do another test submission So I'm going to click on yes sign me up. We are going to enter the details as this this time name test user email test user at the rate pablitudes dot com and the phone number as eight 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 eight. And now after entering all the details, I'm going to click on subscribe again. And yes, you can see you are all signed up. So this means that Optin Monster sent the details of our submission to our workflow. Pabli captured the response, triggered the workflow, and further created a new contact in our Agile. So I'm going to open my Agile and check that if a new contact has been created or not. And this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on Save and Send as request. I'll directly open my Agile and we are going to refresh this contacts page. And yes you can see a new contact has been created right over here name test user email test user at the rate pablitudes.com the role as lead so i'm going to open this and over here you can see the contact phone that we entered to so with this our workflow is successful and i'll just summarize the workflow for you once for a trigger application we selected opt in monster for the trigger event we selected new lead for the action application we selected agile and then for the action event we selected create contact because i wanted that as soon as As a new lead is received in my opt-in monster account automatically a contact should be created in my agile too and yes we were successful with our workflow over here you can see the two contacts i created during this video with the help of my workflow one is demo user and one is test user so if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow 
Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.